Hi, well I hope you all are having an awesome day today. I wanted to show you some of the things that are going on in my studio today and one of the paintings that I'm working on. And this is a snow leopard. This is a photo that I took of a snow leopard from the Tanganyika Wildlife Park in Goddard, Kansas, which is about 20 minutes away from Wichita where I live. And so I go there fairly often to take photos and I love their snow leopards. They're so beautiful. And the thing is about this photo, it, it wouldn't have be a good photo, like just for a photographer to make prints of to sell because you can kind of see there's wire here. So there's shadows going through it. Part of the face is covered up by a branch. So it's not the best photo, but it'll work great for me to make a painting with. And so that's what I'm going to do. about three hours that's usually about how long I do a painting session for so after that my shoulder starts kind of just getting tired so I want to show you a closer look this painting is not finished by any means but you can kind of see I have the face started I have a good layer on all the colors and the thing is I, I'm trying to figure out it's it's at this weird place I, I knew when I started this painting <laughs> that uh, having a vertical element like this tree just cutting across the whole picture plane was going to here let me lower this down so you can see the whole thing the better but like having this uh, tree cutting across the whole picture plane um, it would be a little bit awkward and so I'd have to kind of work with that so that it wouldn't divide everything up so usually I wouldn't have painted a painting like this, but I loved the pose. Usually having the tree in there would exclude it from something that I would probably paint just because I know it makes it harder. <laughs> but I also was up for the challenge because as I have grown over the years as an artist, I know that I can work with photos and things, elements in the paintings that I used to not be able to and still kind of make something that may look like it would begin to be awkward, look good later. And so that's kind of, I think, where the painting is at at this point. I, I have to add something else in here, like more color into the blue area, um, more color maybe into the tree. I, I don't quite know yet, and I have to kind of mull it over for the next day or so. Usually I paint every other day. So I will paint here in a couple days and then by then I'll decide what I want to do. A lot of times at this point I also take a photo of it and then bring the photo into my Procreate program on my iPad and then that way I can look at it and try out different things like I can add different colors without messing up the painting and it saves a ton of time. Well I guess I will close this video here because it kind of sums up what I've been doing in my studio this morning. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.